Number 70. If an aspirin tablet contains 325 milligrams of aspirin, how many grams of aspirin does it contain? So straight conversion, right? They're asking you, you have 325 milligrams of aspirin, and they want to convert to grams of aspirin. Do we know a direct conversion between milligrams to grams? Yes, we do. So this one is a one-step uh, question. Now, how do we know that it's a one-step question? Well, we should memorize, and guys, memorize, your common unit prefixes. So whenever you're memorizing your common unit prefixes, just know that these prefixes will always represent you having only one of these. So whether you have one milliliter or one milligram, one centimeter, decimeter, et cetera, et cetera, the factor units are your base unit. So that would be your meter, liter, or gram. So know the difference between seeing a prefix in the front, lowercase m is milli, and now they're just asking you for the base unit, which is just gram. So I'll just say BU for base unit. So you could always do a one-step conversion between any prefix back to a space unit using the handy-dandy common unit prefixes. All right, so let's get started. You start with what you're given, which is 325 milligrams. And when we convert, remember, we always multiply by a certain ratio. And we don't want milligram anymore. So that unit goes on the opposite side. Now, you guys should know by now that, you know, how to put it on the opposite side. If you don't, though, go back to, there's dozens of questions. There's plenty of questions. Around maybe 50, 60. Go back and check those out in Chapter 1. Now I want to put my new unit, which goes up on the top, which is gram. And now I'm going to use my common unit prefixes. Milli is here, and we're going to use this information. So milli is the prefix, so we use the number one. We have one milligram, and that equals to the factor in the base unit. So it would be 10 to the negative three grams because we're using grams here, so they have to match. Now, if you're using this, you would use your 10 to the negative 3, but you could also know that there's 100, oh, sorry, there's 1,000 milligrams for every 1 gram. So if you don't like to use negative exponents, you could memorize this conversion as well, and you would get the same answer. But I'm just going to stick with your common unit prefixes, just to keep it standard. But as we get into like chapter two, chapter three, I'll show you the quick hand versions to convert. But right now your teachers or your professors are probably looking for these ratios. So one milligram corresponds with 10 to negative three grams. Milligrams cancel out and you're left with the unit that you're searching for, which is grams. So all we have to do is just multiply this out. Anything divided by one will be the same. So in this case, you just have to multiply 325 times 10 to the third, which would be 0 0.325 grams. Now for sig figs, you started off with 325, so that's three sig figs. So just know that your answer has to have three sig figs in it as well. So it's the three, two, and the five. I always put this zero here for habit, but remember, this is a leading zero, LZ, and leading zeros do not count. So here would be um, three sig figs. So box that answer off, highlight it, do whatever you gotta do. That is the answer for this problem. And that's it, it was just a simple one, one step conversion. All right guys, hope this helped a lot. If it did, tell us about it. Give us a like, send us a comment, or even subscribe. Whichever one is fine with us, and we do appreciate communicating with you guys. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Happy studying. See you later.